These Zimbabweans are celebrating receiving period products. For some girls, it will be the only ones they get all year. Menstrual health has an impact on economic growth, particularly socioeconomic justice. And so if we want to bring about women empowerment and the eradication of period poverty, we need to pull in all our collective voices. In 2019, Nokuzola successfully got the government to scrap the 15% sales tax on sanitary pads in South Africa. The overall fight is for gender equality, is for women's rights to be treated as human rights. Nokuzola is one of many Africans trying to make change to period poverty across the continent. Ibrahim is trying to also get boys involved in the conversation in Nigeria and to remove stigmas around talking about menstrual hygiene. I feel um, I need to do something before um, it gets out of hand. So I believe with initiatives like this, all over Africa, we can counter and eradicate fear poverty. The UN Population Fund defines period poverty as the struggle many low-income women and girls face while trying to afford menstrual products. The stories that I've been listening to those girls, it's so touching to hear someone say, I cannot afford to buy pads. Our BBC Pan-Africa investigation has revealed that this is the case for many countries across the continent. Through our research, we've found that those on basic pay are spending between 3 to 13% of their monthly wage on sanitary products alone. This potentially results in girls having to use newspapers, cow dung and even transactional sex to get the products that they need. Ghana is the worst affected of these. A woman earning $26 per month will have to spend at least $3 on pads. This equates to one in seven dollars of what a woman earns. What's stopping us from fighting against eradicating period poverty? What's stopping us from achieving gender equality? I mean, it doesn't have to take more than 300 years. Nokuzola says tax reductions are not enough. She is now working to get a menstrual health rights bill passed in South Africa. So if we work together, then we'll be able to uh, bring in the needed attraction, uh, the needed attention towards eradicating period poverty once and for all across the globe. Jem O'Reilly, BBC News.